If you're sitting on the fence with Ramallah, please dip your toe. You will love it. They're very, very different. They're super unique. They're edgy. They're quirky. They're so fabulous and stylish, and yet they are for everybody. Hi, my name's Simon Williamson. I'm the guest demonstrator for Avago Ink Designs. Avago Inks is a, it's basically images that we can put together so anybody can have a go. I think I love the most about crafting is it can just give you time out in your own head. It can just down tools, not think about your mobile phone and just enjoy what you're going to do. Create a project and be proud of what you've made. My inspiration comes really from lots of sources. I love like looking at current trends. I like looking through the internet. And I like looking at what other people make. And I think truly inspiration comes from picking bits out of everything you see, pull it all together, and make something that you can do with your skills. Avago products, we've got three collections out at the moment. We've got as dinosaur range, as farmyard range, and as little owl collection. And the main crux of the actual design is that there's a big image there, and a little character you can play around, have fun, and there's always some puns in there as well, so you can liven up the card and make it a bit humorous for everybody. I think if you're thinking about trying one of our products, is don't be afraid. Just buy any of the kits that you, I mean, you feel like you want to, and you'll always create a really good card from there. There's some good characters, good sentiments, and some really fun images in there. So just, just grab one and have a go. Established in 2018, Thirsty Brush & Co is a brand that is dedicated to arts and the simplicity of watercolouring. Using uplifting images, sentiments and colour palettes, Thirsty Brush creates products that leave a lasting impression. With a diverse range of stamps, dyes and paper kits and an incredible team of designers and creators. Craft some happiness and use the inspiration found in the natural beauty around us with Thirsty Brush. Derek. I am the creative director at Stamps by Me. We are a company that specialise in arts and crafts supplies, so stamps, dyes, stencils, all of the beautiful craft products that you may have at home, but most of all my love is for watercolouring. I started Stamps by Me over 13 years ago when I lost my mum, and to find peace in that loss I began to craft and I started out making journals, wedding invites and gifts and I was just absolutely hooked from then on. Stamps by Me is a hive of activity. We have so many talented people who work at Stamps by Me. We have video editors, we have graphic designers, but the most important thing is our fabulous studio where we are so creative, where we are so inspirational. My inspiration comes from lots of places. I spend a lot of time outdoors with my family. The beauty of what is outside is absolutely incredible. I love being on Create and Craft. It allows me to be creative live on TV, knowing that you are at home sat watching me and feeling inspired. I think Stamps by Me, me personally, we take an everyday project, everyday item, everyday stamp and turn it into something that's going to allow you to be more creative and more like an artist rather than just a card maker. Hi, I'm Carly and I am, well, a demonstrator of exceptional craft products. If you'd never heard of Amala, Amala means ink makes art like art. But also what it means is we've done all the artwork, you simply get to stamp and then you get to enjoy your crafting. Amala, of course, is a fusion of myself and Tony Darragh. We both decided to bring something really young and fresh and unique to the industry, but also something that could be adapted for simply everybody. I love being on Create and Craft, not only because we have such fantastic deals on Amala, but also you're able to get some really, really great techniques. If you're sitting on the fence with Amala, please dip your toe. You will love it. They're very, very different. They're super unique. They're edgy. They're quirky. They're so fabulous and stylish. And yet they are for Good evening everyone. Well, it is a lovely sunny day and I have been reading all of your comments for the last five minutes. Welcome everyone. Thank you so much for coming back. We've got a lovely, lovely hour or so lined up for you. So we're going to do some demonstrations using the products that I showcased yesterday. But before I do get into any demonstrations, we have a little bit of housekeeping as always. Now you're all probably thinking, what is that? I 
I'll tell you all about that in a second. It's, it's not alcohol, by the way, because I don't drink. It's a no secco, bit posh, bit fancy this evening. So my name is Tony Derrick and this is Studio 3 Podcast. And this is where we talk about industry news, new products, inspirational content, lots of fun, lots of goodness, and most of all, sharing that love of craft, whatever it may be, even if it's not with Stamped By Me products. It's about all being together in the same room and just having some crafty fun. So that is what it's all about. That's what it's all about in my world anyway. So my name is Tony Derrick. If you are watching right now on YouTube, wonderful. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I need you all to do me a favour as well. I need you to hit the like button. If you like any of my videos when you're watching them, click the like button. I know you all comment and things like that for me anyway. And you are very supportive of the Housecraft Network, which is wonderful. But um, I need you to start clicking that like button as well. And that helps me out with, um, again, sharing the love of craft. So let's do a little bit of a shout out. I know Adele's like, cheers, Tony. Cheers, everyone. Um, it is Friday. It is sunny. And the reason I've actually got this is I thought, do you know what? One of uh, my design team members bought me a couple of bottles of No Seco because he said I should try it. I'm not a fan, completely honest. But do you know what? It's got some ice in it. It's a little bit fizzy and it tastes like oh, elderberry. I don't know, something. But anyway, it's a celebrate. It'll probably stay like that. I'll probably forget to drink it. You do know that, don't you? But thank you, Paul. And I am onto the second bottle, and I have had it about six months. <laughs> so anyway, if you are having a drink, if you do drink, wonderful cup of tea, no seco, whatever it may be. And I'm just having a drink because I sound like a <laughs> I sound like a drink, don't I? And I thought, you know what? I'm going to pour a little bit of glass of fizz, whether it be Coca Cola, whatever it may be just to celebrate the small wins and that small win for me is our wonderful box kit was launched yesterday as you all know most of you have been to the supermarkets and bought it don't worry it is launching with me as well very soon in a lovely creative bundle but i have had so many wonderful messages from people who've bought it in the usa joanne's and michael's and they've got it in the garden and they're reading it and lots of lovely messages from the uk saying you know you nailed it, you smashed it, well done and all this. So I felt like, you know, let's celebrate the small wins and I'm going to have something fizzy. Normally I just drink a ton of water. Sparkling water, actually. But So yeah, I've got that because I am celebrating that today because I think it is wonderful to, you know, as I said yesterday, pinch yourself, have that moment and just be grateful for what you've achieved, how you've achieved it and, you know, just celebrate the fact that we all work incredibly hard at Stamps By Me and our lovely following supporters day in and day out so thank you so much everyone that's my piece out of the way um let's move on <laughs> so i did promise that oh gin and tonic for karen do you know i do have a gin and tonic sometimes at like christmas and things i don't particularly enjoy alcohol but it is sometimes nice to celebrate with your friends and things like that isn't it so why not you go for it sweetheart so let's do a little bit of a shout out don't forget to like this video whilst we are live if you want to it's just underneath click that like button so we have emma we have julie we have sue michaela carol shelly i hope you're okay sweetheart michaela adele and m lindsay brewerton is waiting for her for the bundle too good work lindsay uh brenda michaels on my way after the live <laughs> Bless you. Let me know how you get on, um, and Brenda, let me know. Uh, Charlotte Palmer, Caroline Crafting, Jen G, Michaela Brown, Bridget Head, liked and shared. So if you do want to share, I do have some fabulous giveaways as well, no different to any other of our lives. So I'll announce a winner this evening in show live, and I'll also announce a winner after we've gone off air if you pop a comment underneath this video. So two things really, if you like the video, Honestly, if you do like the video, click the like. I'm not forcing you. You might want to mute me. But underneath, if you pop a comment about the show, did you enjoy the show, anything, then I pick a winner. And I have already picked yesterday's winner. I've gone on. And uh, the name is Susan Briggs, maybe. Check out yesterday's video. I've popped a, a message underneath for the lady. And I'll do the same for this one. Maybe tomorrow or the day after. So lots of chances to win some good new goodies from stamps by me it's like we get like we started with one giveaway then we progressed into two then three and it just depends how i'm feeling it really really does so wonderful to have your company jennifer cox hello from north texas wonderful to have your company jennifer please let us know what the weather is like what are you up to today what time is it where you are let us know sweetheart 
uh, liked and shared well done thank you so much marilyn squire uh hi tony and everyone so it's lovely to have your company now this evening is predominantly um i thought we'd just play around with some embossing folders try some different techniques you all know that i absolutely love just playing and if i get something good out of the end of it brilliant but if we don't do you know what it is only a piece of card so if you're coming in out of the sunshine because it has been a beautiful day then grab a cup of tea and let's get cracked on before I get into that though, I am live on Create and Craft on Sunday. It's a Spring Bank holiday um, event and I am live on Create and Craft on Sunday at 6pm. Now I did launch the products yesterday and all of the prices came down yesterday apart from those large 8x8 dies. So I'm just going to do a quick recap on uh, the dies and the products for you and then we'll get straight into the good stuff. Okay, so Jennifer Cox, it's beautiful, 84 degrees in sunny Texas. Poof is warm i don't think we could deal with that i don't think we are a, a country that likes to moan about the weather <laughs> uh, elizabeth faulkner it's beautiful in salt lake city utah oh my gosh it's a lot. i do like the weather uh, i think you do have to climatize a little bit though don't you when you're not used to it like us it's so funny because when I have my meetings with uh, our creative team in the USA I've always got a body warmer on and they always say to me Tony is it cold <laughs> and they're all in like the t-shirts with the air conditioning on I'm like <laughs> zipped right up to the neck as you can imagine so Martha Chapman good morning from sunny Arizona well there's lots of you on this evening I hope you're all having a lovely day good morning if it's morning lunch or tea we're here to just share the love of craft and that's what we're going to do so um first of all let's just do a quick recap of products that are on the show now if you look on your screen now whether you're on your phone whether you're on your tv ipad if you're watching below the show on our website as well because it is geolocated so if you are in another part of the world which lots of you are this evening that's wonderful we do have a, ca a code on our um screen and it says scan to shop on there if you just want to go ahead and buy the products that are available on Create and Craft, you can absolutely do that, okay? And there are several options. As you can see, we have two options of embossing folders, and it's sort of like a drop-down box system. So if you want the 6x6 or the 5x7, you can click which is appropriate to you. And then, But if you want both, you can pop them both in your basket. Now, they have been reduced in price. They're a great price for three. I've popped them on. And as I promised, for Spring Bank Holiday, everything is less than £30. And I've got some more steals for you as well. Now, if you are shopping in the USA, you can get them on our website now, available. Okay, they are available for our USA fans. And we always do that early for you because I appreciate uh, you have a lengthy, not lengthy, but a longer period of time for them to get to you. So we do that um, straight away for you. So if you like any of the things in show this evening, you can go ahead and get those. But if you are shopping from Create and Craft, guess what three flexes capped pmp and it's something in three so three flexes capped pmp and there's a third as well so if you buy anything this evening you can pop it on three flexi if you want to shop wisely though guys um and uh, it's capped as well as opposed to no matter how many items you buy so it might be worth a look so if you didn't buy yesterday lots of you did buy yesterday thank you very much <clears throat> the opportunity is there now I have a funny feeling when I get there on Sunday, there's going to be a really strong update because you've all been buying ahead, which is wonderful. So there are those. Liked and shared. Thank you so much. Yep, Check and Karen's put a great thing on there for you. If you shop at your local stores, check the stores as well because the stores get them early as well. So they might be in your local stores. So do that too. So the other thing I just wanted to talk to you, uh, Charlotte Palmer, question, question, will embossing folders be sold individually? They should be on as individuals, unless they've sold out, Charlotte, from yesterday. I haven't checked. Um, they should be, but if not, they will be on my website as of 24 hours after the show, okay? So let's just do um, a quick recap. Very quick, very quick. So embossing folders, square ones. And if I've got time at the end, I'll show some samples, but I really want to do techniques this evening. So if you've got a technique you want me to try, as long as I've got the kit, I will try and do it for you. They will be available, yes, yeah, separately on HTCN, Lindsay, yeah, on my website, How to Craft Network. So let's just show you these three square ones, ladies and gents. So we have Infinity, Into the Forest and Pebble Dash. 
So these are three six by six uh, embossing folders and they give the most gorgeous um, detail on there. So these are your square ones. Now these are true workhorses. These are going to cover the backgrounds if you want to, cover the foreground if you want to. But absolutely beautiful and I will show samples if I get time, okay. Um, so they're three. So these are the square ones you can see on the screen, six by six. And then we have three five by seven. Okay, so we have the beautiful sympathy cross, um, which doesn't have to be used as in, in a religious manner if you don't want to, but equally perfect if you do. We have carnival and then we have love is in the air. And then we have the three um, lovely detailed, hopefully you'll be able to see that detail there and the deboss as well. We'll do some techniques so you can see the true beauty of these. So that's the 5x7 and 6x6 embossing folders. And now let's just have a quick look at um, these ones. Now yesterday um, they'd only come down a certain amount. Okay, Now these are a steal. If you didn't watch my show yesterday, go back. I'm not going to go through them all. But there are two, two, six... I'll just pop them out here very quickly. Now these create card shapes. Okay, and I'll show you in a second. So we have, if you're making a note, lattice 3, lattice 7, lattice 1, lattice 5, lattice 6, and lattice 4. These are fabulous. Now, they have been neglected. We haven't touched on them in such a long time, but I will retouch on them and... Um, showcase how amazing they are now when we launched these these were 39.99 i've put them on at 35.99 on tv and guess what i've brought that price right down to 18 18 pounds and i'll show you the die in a second so you're still going to get your 10 percent off that so i think it's 17 1701 or something like that let me show you one of the dies really quickly Oh, Tina says she buys from these. That's wonderful. Thank you. Look at this. 8x8 die. So it comes as a panel. You can twist it so the design goes to the other side if you want to. This stands proud. And basically, oops, today we just take it off there. It gives you shaped cards. That stands proud. They're absolutely beautiful. And these are on Create and Craft right now, reduced before Sunday. So if you are if you're watching tonight and you missed yesterday's show, they are reduced. So think about your washi tape, your embellishments, your nesting dies, your bows, your ribbons. So there's, there's hexagons, there's squares, and there are circles. But they don't only just create the lovely um, standing cards where you can put some pattern paper behind if you want to. Look at this. Use half of the design on a slimline card if you want to. Absolutely beautiful. Put the papers behind and sturdy them up. They go beautifully in an 8x8 card. So we have the wonderful lady from Let's Celebrate. Quattro D handbag, a flower and some pattern paper behind. Stands beautifully. So it's just another way of looking at your cards maybe. And they also create an 8x8 backing on your card as well. So you do not have to use them as shaped cards or anything like that. You can use them as you please. These are wonderful. Now, given the current situation right now and the cost of metal, this would be a £50 die, absolutely guaranteed. So make the most of these. If you like your shaped cards, these are an absolute steal. And guess what? They're all on three flexi. So, um, you know, if you want to get one and, you, and it's still a little bit of a stretch for your budget, you can pop it on that three flexi if you want to, that is, okay? So there we go, love these dies when they first came out. And lots of our Eureka, uh, lots of our Facebook people, uh, crafters have been sharing their makes from old as well. So have a look at those too. You need to join all of our groups because we are a wonderful group of inspirational crafters. Brenda Danici, I'm on wine time. Oh, bless you. <laughs> Mine looks like um, alcohol, but it's just fizzy, no secco. It's a bit... I don't think I could drink more than one glass, put it that way. So that is the show. So you can see on there you have your two options, your 5x7s and your 6x6. Six six. So if you wanted to get both, you can pop them all on three flexes on um, Create and Craft if you want to. And they are live this very second. So if you do want to get ahead pre-Sunday, because I appreciate it, it's going to be red hot this weekend. So you might want to go out with the dog, with your family. 
and catch up on the shows later but i would hate for you all to miss out that's why we've made sure that the price is lower before the show so uh, there you go so let's have a look carol clark question question tony are embossing folders with the die coming out again they are uh, with the shaker ones the shaker windows carol yep yeah, we've had those we've still got a few left of those our next ones are christmas oh you got a sneak peek there christmas ones um adele's drinking lemon fanta very refreshing kylie pike make uh makes your tabs laugh tony makes your tabs laugh not sure what that means have i missed something oh uh catch you later bye karen uh thanks for joining us sweetheart right so let's get cracked onto some demo because that's why you're all here now yesterday if you remember i showed you this wonderful card which was this one and you all said it was absolutely beautiful a little bit different for me this one guys and i did this months ago honestly i did this months ago so i was like oh how did i do it but i did prep like a semi-demo like as if i knew i was going to want to show you all so this one is one that's available on my website right now but i am going to do techniques on the ones on creating craft as well we're going to do a whole bunch of techniques okay so make sure you stay tuned if you have bought one of the bundles and would like to see a specific demo on one of those in the bundles put a shout out here i'll do my best i'm not going to be here all night but i'll do my best okay uh, what you're drinking tony it's a no secco Right, so to create this card, I watercolored some colour onto a piece of normal card. Absolutely normal. But what I did was, I sort of dropped colour into the areas where my embossing folder was going to highlight the flowers. I didn't want it to be perfect. Oops, today is it? Excuse me, let me just grab the embossing folder. So it's this one. And what I did was, when I was painting the card, I sort of like tried to drop colour where I thought the flowers would hit. Does that make sense? So this one would be on this blue, this one up here would be on the pink, the blue on that one, this one would be here. I tried to drop the colours into all of the areas. Um, and then I just sprayed it with water and just let it disperse as it is like that. So, what are we going to do? Let's get our embossing folder, shall we? So, bear in mind, this technique will do all of your embossing folders because it's a technique that you know embossing folders have been around for donkeys haven't they so all of the techniques have been around been around and come back and been around and come back and been around and come back again so you know you can do any techniques you want to with these lovely embossing folders so what i did to get that lovely black on there was i felt the embossing folder now quick tip for you is you have a rise and fall on your embossing folder so if you want to get the embossed on this part coming up just pop a t or a front on the front of your uh, embossing folder and then you know you're always going to get the raised element but do you know what today i want the debossed so i want sort of because this actual card look here is in the deboss side all the detail is inside if that makes sense rather than uh, outside so that's I want the debossed side so I'm just feeling my embossing folder here and I can feel that that's going to push all of that detail through to that side and this is sort of the debossed so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the piece of card that we've coloured and I'm just going to pop it inside um, the embossing folder just to show you first so you can see I didn't do a great job at lining my colours up there probably about there I will go but what I want to do first is I want to get the black transfer to go over onto my card so I'm just going to open it up and I'm going to put some um, black around here now I'm just going to go around the edge I'm not going to go too much onto the image I'm just going to grab a black ink pad and again this is the beauty of embossing folders they're indestructible they're super affordable play around with a bit of ink you can't hurt oh it's a bit of card it can go in bin I should make a song, shouldn't I? I should do like a bit of a rap in relation to, <laughs> to them. So, black ink pad. And do you know what? I, and I said this on TV, didn't I? Um, just brush it on. Because when I get it onto my card anyway, it's I'm going to go in with my blending tool anyway and enhance it. So, just get the colour on. What's the worst that could happen? 
and do you know what whilst i'm doing this side i'm going to do the other side as well at the same time because look i've got this so i might as well put some black on this side as well and just see what happens you might stain your embossing folder a little bit but i wouldn't i'm not too fussy about it so I'll get some black into them into that detail on that embossing there because that's where we're going to get that deboss so you can see already the emboss and deboss can't you because of the different ways that the ink's replicated on each side so i know that this is going to be the raised and then this is going to be the deboss so let's get some color on there keep going i love this technique does everybody caroline says uh, embossing all is such good fun aren't they just so let's just get our embossing folder, super easy. So as you can see, that's going to give me that imprint into my ink. Can we see? I'm just going to take that lovely um, piece of cardstock. I'm going to try and line my colours up. Try, she says. I didn't do a great job at painting it, did I? But anyway, who cares? What's the worst that could happen? And then I'm just going to shut it. So now look what's going to happen here. Can you see I'm going to get sort of this lovely imprint on the back and I'm going to get this sort of deep, hopefully, deboss on the side. So let's just run this through our machine. And I'll just grab my plates. We'll just run this one through. I bet lots of you are quite chilled, aren't you, about this evening? Because you bought them yesterday, because I saw. <laughs> so now you're all chilling and just watching the demonstration camp, which is wonderful, isn't it? Because we don't really get the chance on Create and Craft to do anything more. Are you ready? How wonderful is that? Let me just turn it over. Let's see what's happening on this side. That is good. That is lovely. In fact, I have I've put it in the wrong side. But again, how wonderful is that? So let's be creative with a bit of colour now. So let's just move this on out of the way. This is where I like to... This is where the fun happens for me, guys. This is where I'm like... In my element, what am I going to do with this? How am I, how am I going to make it um, wonderful? I don't know, but I'm going to see where it takes me. So let's grab some colours. I have a ton of colours in my uh, geeky cupboard here. So let's just grab a... Yep, you do not have to think about ink. That's totally right. Wonderful, isn't it? No rules. There is no rules with um, this. Makes me very happy. So let's get some colour on here. So with this one now, I think we should really just go on ahead and swipe again with black. What do we think? Shall we give it a try? Uh, Kylie, the die cutting machine is back in stock very soon. We'll be allocating it to a show. So I'm just going to take my black ink pad. Let me just get some card underneath there so I don't have a mess. So let's take that black right to that very edge. Let's tidy it up a bit. It's like two cards full. And what I'll do then is I'll pick the best side. <laughs> what do we all think? Pick the best side. So that'll dry off and it'll all intermingle as it does. So let's just turn it over for now. Let's see what's happening with this side. So this side, let's get some nice colour down. Hey, let's see how this will look. Let's just take these off the glass. Let's get some ocean. Electronic die cutting machine. I've been changing a few things on it, Carol, but honestly, it's on its way. Trust me, not physically on its way. I'm changing some things. It needs some things changing. But it's definitely, definitely nearly sorted. Um, let me just 
So let's take some of this colour here. So let's get a bit of colour on the exterior. And you watch how wonderful this comes together. It looks like an absolute hot mess. But knowing what I know now about embossing folders, I can tell you this is going to look totally, totally awesome. I don't know where it's going, but it is going to look awesome. So I'm just going to take that blue all the way around there. What's everybody been up to today then? Don't forget to share because I have that amazing giveaway too. So let's get some other colours on here. I'm just spotting really. And you know as well, the beautiful thing about embossing folders is we can put it back in our machine and run it back through, can't we? And bring that artwork back to life. You could then put a white overlay on top. So ink up your uh, embossing folder with white and then bring it back that way if you wanted to totally totally up to you so what i'm going to do now is because we've got a little bit of water reactive ink on there which is really cool i'm just going to bleach some of it back out So let's just take our spray bottle here. I'm just going to pop some into my hand here and I'm just going to give it a little bit of a... Now I have got black under there, but the black won't sort of bleach per se, because obviously it's waterproof and alcohol proof, but it will take out the colour that I've laid on top. So I'm just going to give that a second to sort of like bleach itself out. And then we'll pick some of that colour up with some tissue. Some tissue I just better drink this otherwise it's gonna to go to waste isn't it <laughs> so let's just pick up some of that lovely color so when you blast this off with my gun what will happen that bleaching will come through and it'll become more prominent. So now what I would probably do is um, just get my um, embossing folder again. And then I would give this just a quick wipe. Get rid of the excess black. You can't hurt anything with these embossing folders, you really can't. So don't be, you know, don't put yourself under pressure with it. So then just rattle out the mess. Uh, Brenda, the new inks are en route with our Christmas inks. So, um, summertime. So again, with the same embossing folder, I'm just going to take my white this time, okay? I'm just going to pop some white. I'm going to do both sides, guys, because I am doing two cards for one here, remember? So I'm going to do both. So let's just pop some white on here. No idea how it's going to look, but I'm certain going to end up with a beautiful coloured card at the end of it. So, try and get into that detail there. And then this side. So the white ink pad, this is the best. It's on the website. If you 
what a really good white ink pad you can see how white that is it's wonderful and i'm just going to try and get into all the little crevices too because i really would like the white to transfer and maybe push some of that black right back going wild we are going wild i can't blame it on the drink either can i <laughs> so then i'm going to take my lovely design and i'm going to pop it back in so i'm going to grab the ink uh, sorry the embossing folder i'm going to grab my um, embossing folder and i'm just going to line it back up i'm going to place it back in Oh, I'm a bit nervous now. <laughs> Let's go for it. Let's see what happens. Are you all holding your breath now? I am. What do we all think to that? It's a bit posh. <laughs> Total faith in you. Well, I think I think I delivered. Look at the look at that. That looks quite good, doesn't it? I don't know now which I like the best. Hang on. Now I don't like this line, so we need to recover that. But I do like where it's going. That needs a good old clean now. What I'm going to do now, though, is of course we can is I'm going to take my uh, lovely gold confetti. Now you can use your um, eyes ink metal uh, ink pads. I don't have mine with me, but you can absolutely use uh, sparkly ink, whatever you might have in your stash. And I'm just going to activate this just a little bit. How do you choose, Maureen? I'm so sorry. The, the ones that are that we've launched this time are honestly workhorses they're going to be brilliant for backdrops they're absolutely wonderful so i'm just mixing some of this lovely um confetti ink up here and i'm just going to grab a piece of scrap card just one second sorry about the scraping on the floor let's just grab a piece of card here here we go Uh, Carolyn went confetti gold. It'll be back soon. If you're wanting something very similar, Mushroom is the next one that gets you this look. So I think Mushroom might be on the web. So this is the wonderful um, sort of confetti. We have it in 12 different colours. Now I'm just taking the ink off and creating like a bit of a dry. So I get like a scratchy. And I think if we scratch... Wish me luck. Wish me luck. Um, over... Wait till you see this, guys. Wait till you see this. So I'm just turning the card around. I'm going to do it at all angles, like left to right, twist, left to right, twist. Maybe get a bit more colour. Steal some of that paper. And when I say dry brushing, this is what I'm absolutely referring to. My, dry, my brush is pretty much dry. So I'm just layering down that colour. Wait till I pick this up. You're going to be blown away. And just wet that back up. I'm not showing you all now. I'm keeping it a secret. <laughs> I'm a nightmare, aren't you? You all love me, really. <laughs> and you can keep going and keep going. But do you know what? I haven't finished with this. This is going to go back in. And I'm going to put that black... No, I might not actually, I might ruin it. Wait till I lift this up now. Oh, 
Are you all ready to be wowed? That is awesome. Time to celebrate. <laughs> Sorry about the slurp. <laughs> Look at that. Is that not just wonderful? Now, this side. Shall we do the same on this side? Why not? Let's see what this side. Might just try and do hit the, the, the background on this one though. Maybe not. We'll see. Let's just have a go. It's not going to happen, is it? Let's just do it. I'm not going to get rid of that black line, am I, I guess? So we'll just do the edges. Let's try the edges. I think I need to, um, I don't know, I don't know what I like best now, mind you, I'm not, I'm not liking this black line at back, but in the words of Paul, he would say, just keep going, keep layering, keep dry brushing. Denise, it took Denise four hours to come to my store. It did. Thank you so much. Shall we hold this one up? Let's show you this one then. That looks quite cool, doesn't it? Can't get over the line though, unless I really go to town and cover it with that gold. Now, do you know what though? It's really crazy, this, but I think Paul, with it, when he does like the techniques with embossing folders, he would brush over that in black, you know. Do you think I should brush over that in black? <laughs> I think I should just try it. It's a piece of card, isn't it? Right, let me just get a different brush. Oh. Ton of brushes. Right, let's try this one. It's black now. Probably going to ruin it now. Yep, have a play, Carolad. You would say, Carol, tell me to do it. Right, I've got the black now, so... Tap off the excess. Is it working? Is it showing? Is it helping? Is it not? What's it doing? I don't press too much because it is quite cool. Which one? This one? I'm going to go in with black on this one too, guys. Maybe drag the ink pad. Justine, I daren't. <laughs> I'm going to go black on this too. No, I just ruined that. And then I think all that's left for that now is white. Come on, get going, brush, get going. And we'll add some splats to this one. 
Now don't worry, they dry back. So if you don't like splats, they dry back. Michaela likes a D-Boss. Which one do you like? been thinking there if he oh my god we're off on a tangent here let's just get this if he went round with his white and added a halo would that make it pop a little bit let's have a look What's the worst that could happen? Bit of a subtle halo there going on. And then on this one, we'll, we'll do a little bit of white, not too much, and we'll do some gold too. I'm going to leave it there because I want to do some more techniques. Do we like that? It's all a bit messy. It's all a bit messy. So that's the deboss. And the emboss. Now, if you just grab a piece of card, you can see now how wonderful it'll look mounted with a sentiment on there. That's that side. Still a bit wet given, but you know, it's okay. So there we go. Layer after layer after layer. I hope you like that. It is a cool technique. Just to experiment with your colours, you know. There are simply no rules. Right, let's just move it out of the way. Because I've got um, let's do another one. I have white ink all over. Honestly. You scruffy pup. You like them both now. <laughs> That's the thing, isn't it? Isn't it cool? Not sure about it, like it. Not sure about it, like it. Let's just tidy up a little bit here. Let's just clean my mat a little bit. Right, let's do another thing then. And let's use one from Create and Craft That's Live now on the website. So if you are shopping... Don't forget, you can utilise the capped PMP and you can utilise the um, paying three if you want to and if you need to. Just tidying up because I'm a mucky pup. <laughs> right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use one that we have all... Let's use this one. This is that lovely cross. So this one's the one that's on available on Create and Craft right now. So I'm just going to grab that embossing folder. Which is this wonderful one. It's beautiful. Do a 6x6. Six six. Okay, I'll do this one quickly. i just got a quick technique for this one. And then I'll do a 6x6. Six six. So let's just grab some white card very quickly. And this is a wonderful technique for quick, quick cards. That are, don't want that, it's got a line in the middle. That are, um, look really, really lovely. Um, just with a bit of ink on there. So, nothing too complicated. So, maybe you do like your clean and simple cards, which is wonderful. Then these are a great way of getting a clean and simple look. But still adding a touch of maybe colour or something like that. So, I'm just going to cut a piece of card down very quickly. Let's just go with this one and then we'll do a quick six by six one too. So as you can oh that were a bit lucky, just fits in. 
So I'm going to do the lovely technique that I like to spray, okay? So I think maybe we should do this lovely heather one because this is like a very vintage. Um, <laughs> so I like to do both sides at the same time. Totally our preference though. So I'm just going to swipe the whole um, swipe, stamp, touch, whatever you want to do. And you're going to get a lovely result. So this is like a really deep velvety colour. I love this colour. So I'm just um, doing it all over the, um... now again, you might spray it and over spray and it's totally fine if you do that, you know, still run it through, don't put it in the bin, still run it through and just see what results you get, because honestly, the results that you get are going to be different every single time, okay? So, and now I could spot another colour in there, but I'm going to go ahead and spray, so I'll just spray a little bit of that side and spray a little bit of that side, not too much. And then take the card. I'm just going to lay my card on there. And then I'm going to just shut that there. Let's see what happens. Could end up with a total muddy mess. That's what This is what happened on TV. It looked like that. And I was like, oh, I'm going to have kittens. It's not going to look great. But you got to try these things. Let me just grab my plates. See what it comes out like. The great thing about this technique, though, is I do have a card at the back of me to recover the situation if it all goes horribly wrong. <laughs> so let's have a look. I'll lift it forward. There we go, look at that. Now I could recover that and go back over with white. It's a little bit dark for me, is that one? Let me just grab some tissue. So we'll have a look at our other side. A little bit dark for me, is that one? hoping you can see that there. Still got a bit of teal in there too. But now with that in mind you could absolutely paint in the flowers if you wanted to, um, keep it clean and simple if you wanted to. Let me just clean this off. So let me just cut another piece. In fact shall we put this back in? Let's um, pop some colour on it again. Because this is one that I've already just um, run through on some white card. Let's do a different colour this time. Let's maybe try a little bit of a more subtle colour. See what else I've got in here. I've got a, I've got a um, how we do an orange? I've got an orange distress ink here, which is a bit lighter than mine. Because mine are super intense, as you all know. So again, you'd feel the um, embossing folder. Now this is the debossed side. So let's do... I'm going to do both. So again, swipe, swipe, swipe. I think the lighter the colour for this particular one, because it's more, it is more of a, a religiously religious image or something what we don't particularly like to do. So you know, maybe the lighter the better, but it is a totally your choice. So I'm just going on the uh, cross here. So I'll stay away, try and stay away from the back on this one, maybe, and just grab those highlighted areas and we'll see what this one comes out like um, I'm going to still spray with water because I do like the sprayed water effect but again you don't have to so you know the sort of look that you get if you spray that's sprayed too much and the colour's a little bit dark as well um, but again I'm just going to spray it a little bit just a little bit probably just ruined it there and we'll take the embossing folder and we'll pop it back in. I'm just going to line it back up. Take a moment to line it back up. Let's see what this comes out like. I think you can already see it's going to be a little bit, um, oh, a little bit better because it's a lighter colour. So let's run this one through. 
so don't forget to share because we are coming towards the end and i do have a wonderful giveaway for you um as well Oh, Leslie says she got the magazine today and there's some lovely sentiments in there. That's wonderful. Oh, this is going to be nice, I think, guys. Oh, yes. So you see what I mean? Just how changing up that bit of colour changes the whole thing. Absolutely wonderful. Let's try this side, see what this side looks like. Oh, look at that. This is the thing, guys. I know I say it time and time. Just experiment. I didn't like that. You know, I could, I would faff with it a little bit more. I would probably brush over with a white ink pad, try and push it back. I probably would colour the lilies with my watercolour paints. But I absolutely love this one. So it just shows you. Look at that. I love both on this one. Obviously, it needs trimming down. My word. Beautiful. Love, love, love. And I could actually dry brush that cross now with that lovely gold and just pick up those accents and those highlights and I would have a wonderful look at that look at the sparkle on that cross that's just incredible right one more technique then I'm going to do a six by six because the lady said please do a six by six so I will absolutely do that right now oopsie daisy and um, then we'll announce our lovely winner thank you so much for keeping me company this evening i really don't get the opportunity as you all know on tv to showcase these things in depth and experiment check i mean a simple demo is just changing the color to do a demo the same demo twice is just not really it's not one going to help me sell my product doing the same thing twice but equally um it is wonderful just to have the opportunity you know to just say hey what color shall we try guys so let's do i think the leaves and i think what i'm going to do I'm going to do a sticky ink pad on this one. So let's change it up a bit. One I've already... Oh no, let's get a new one. Let's get a new one. New piece of card. So I just cut this one very quickly. And these are going to look fabulous with the embossing flowers you all got last week as well. It's going to look amazing. There we go. Let's just see if I've cut. See, I'm not my lesson. Look at that. I mean, I'm not a bad guesser. Look at that. I mean, couldn't be more close. So, um, I think what we will do is we'll take the embossing folder and we will use a sticky ink pad on both sides. Again, do both. There's nothing lost. Absolutely nothing lost. Um, and I'm going to ink up both. So, this is the raised. So, I'm just going to lightly brush on the raised I'm not pressing on too hard on the raised just enough to capture hopefully capture those veins in those beautiful leaves this is going to look amazing at Christmas ladies and gents and then on this one I'm going to press a little bit harder because obviously I've got that um, deboss it sort of effect there and I'm going to go both ways in case I miss so I know I can't see it, but do you know what? When you do this sort of technique, if it is a little bit distressed, I think it looks a little bit better, don't you? So there we go. And then I'm going to put my card in. Hopefully that um, it's not too hot in here. And we'll run this one through. And we'll pour some powder on one side and the other. And then we'll heat set them and we'll pick a best, hey? How's about that? Yeah, Jennifer, totally. Changing the colour just gives you a different mood as well. I mean, I think it would look good in black, you know. I know it's a cross, but if you're looking for something with a little bit of texture, black, oh, talking to myself, black would look totally awesome, don't you think? Or if you've got your set up to gold sprays and, oh, it just goes on and on and on. I get really giddy about it if you haven't gathered. just I need some cart paper to catch my powder and hopefully don't look like anything's gone across there but we'll see we'll see 
it looks it looks bone dry <laughs> where's my favorite powder here we go um be bold hope oh, it doesn't even look wet this oh it is it is <laughs> I was thinking to myself, what on earth's going on? So I'm going to do both sides. Oh, it's a bit yummy, isn't it? Do you know what? Shall we do a different colour on? Let's just get some more in that corner. Shall we um, do a different colour on the other side? See what that looks like. Why not? Oh, I've got my Cephaptalons here too. So that's the, the Be Bold if you are wanting to sort of like do this card yourself when um, you get home. So I've got my Cephaptalons here. So I've got, um, I think I like, oh, let's do Tarnished Teal. Although I do like Dirty Verde. Let's do Tarnished Teal. And again, this is going to show you how gorgeous um this looks in hopefully it's gonna stick oh it is um in different colors i know i'm getting fingerprints on both sides but i'm not too precious about it i would cut it down to a rectangle colored cat cactus shape anyway right let's get this heat set let's just move this out of the way Just pop this on the back for now. Oh, there we go. Right, let's heat set this one. So, blow, blow, blow. Let's get it done hot. I like this one because it gets real intense and it's got a punch of gold as an undertone. I'll show you in a second. This looks quite incredible actually. You need to invest in some wow powders, guys, if you haven't got any. They're totally inexpensive. And they'll just stretch your craft that one stage further. So many techniques you can do with the wows. Right, let's inside. Dell, I have around 60 wild powers. I have a whole bunch as well. It's crazy, really. I won't give them away, though. Oh, don't want to see me. So there we go. I'm hoping you can capture that gold fleck in there. It's gorgeous. Now, obviously, it needs cutting down. It needs a beautiful center, uh, sentiment in the center. And that is really a beautiful, beautiful card. So there we go. How was that? Did we enjoy that? So if you want to get the products, they're available now at the discounted prices. Do not miss out. Um, I have already got a strong up update on the stock for when I get there on Sunday. So if you're thinking I'm not going to be around in the sunshine, then um, you might want to get them a little bit early. If you do want to get them, that is. And don't miss out on those um, 8x8 
dies because they're once they're gone they're absolutely gone so i hope you've enjoyed those techniques both look amazing there we go so if i've taught you something new tonight wonderful if i haven't or i've just encouraged you to play with the products that you have in your stash or maybe get some new goodies that's also wonderful as well now i'm covered in sparkle um let's see if i've got a winner sparkly sparkly all stunning oh i hope you'll give them a try guys i really do let's have a look um see if i've got a winner Right, I have a winner, but it is a Facebook winner. Caroline Gibbs. Well done, sweetheart. Let me just write that down. Caroline Gibbs, you are the winner. If you PM me your address, I will um, send you our wonderful brand new box kit, which is launching in a few weeks with some other wonderful goodies. So well done, sweetheart. You are the winner. Thank you so much if you did tune in. You are all amazing. I hope you've enjoyed this evening. I'm going to try and do more shows throughout the weeks of an evening so that you can all hopefully be inspired and use the products that we all have in our stash, whether it be mine or somebody else's. So whatever you're doing, have a wonderful evening. Um, make sure you put your sun cream on over the weekend and I will see you all Sunday at 6pm with lots more hints, tips, techniques, and hopefully full demonstrations where I make the card from start to finish for you all. So whatever you're doing, stay safe, and I will speak to you all later. Take care. Thanks for your company. See you later. Bye.